Coming to America, the new movie opening in select AMC theaters August 28th, starring Eddie Griffin, Joss Myers, as well as a number of other actors, including the gentleman on the phone line right now, Dave Vecchio. Dave, welcome to the show, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, let's start off with a quick synopsis of the movie, Going to America. Is it fair to say it's a bit of what they call a dark comedy? Uh, definitely. Definitely. That, that's for sure. If they hired me, it's a dark comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's obviously Eddie Griffin, a place an immigrant and uh, as well as Josh Myers now escape mental institution patients right they decide to make a movie where they find a bride right now where do you come into play in that synopsis well you know Eddie Griffin's character he thinks he's a freaking prince and you know he escapes from the uh, mental asylum because he wants to save a princess well the princess is my prostitute <laughs> so I'm the pimp of the story and you play a character I'm, named Rocco right yes yeah I do very fitting Rocco to now, is is this something that you had uh, to study up on? Now, I know a lot of actors, especially character actors, they like to join fields and actually, you know, shadow actual people in their jobs. Is this something that you had to do? Did you have to go out and find a pimp when this was involved? It, you know, first off, it's a dark comedy. So for that aspect, as method acting, I, I didn't. But I'll tell you what, I watched a lot of documentaries on pimps where, you know, I actually saw them beating around the girls and stuff. And then I went on set prepared with all that, and they're like, no, 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 we, we see it more this way. So, it, honestly, what I prepped for didn't even work anyway. So. You know, it, it, well, it's not exactly a, a one-dimensional character like most people would think. There's obviously a lot of aspects that go into the job, I'm sure. Totally, totally, totally. I mean, in the story, uh, you know, Rocco, you know, has this young girl, almost like an underage girl being his prostitute, but at the same time, it, I think it's like his girlfriend as well. Uh, I mean, uh, the character uh, Najara Townsend plays mentions that once in the script. Now, we never did that in the scenes, but, you know, so there's like this underlining that he likes this girl versus... You know, from the stories I've studied about pimps, you know, they don't really tend to like these girls. They tend to get them drugged up. They tend to beat them around all the time, you know, uh, treat them more like property. So yeah, absolutely. It was a little different. A lot of it was a little different. You know, involved. versus the dramas I do, you know, now we start getting into more of this darker stuff. Now, is that is that tough for you, kind of switching back between a, a, a comedic kind of tone to a dark tone? Is there is there a sort of segue? I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I don't know why. Why anybody ever hires me to do dark comedy? I, I honestly don't know why. And most times it's like just given to me. Like I was on, I did a comedy skit for Jimmy Kimmel Live last year. It's like given to me, and I'm like, the whole time I'm on set, I'm just questioning why they hire me. Like I don't do comedy, you know. So it's like I'm always bewildered when people hire me to do this. Uh, uh, but it's great. I was grateful, dude. You know, I got to work with some great comedic pros, you know, for like a week or two, and it, it was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. Absolutely. Did you start off as an actor? Uh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, my father was a fighter pilot. Uh, he served 23 years in the United States Air Force, uh, so I just grew up with that mentality. Uh, and ever since I was four years old, I wanted to be G.I. Joe, so I pretty much spent, you know, spent my childhood um, you know, Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, Weeblos, Order of the Arrow, you know, uh, learning how to shoot, learning how to hunt, uh, wilderness survival camp. You know, I did everything I could to learn how to be an infantry soldier. And then when I was 18, I finally joined up the U.S. Army Infantry. So Absolutely. that was my very first job. Something that something that prepares you well for, for a career in theater, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It prepares you to play the characters I play, which is preying on people. So <laughs> Absolutely. Now, now did, did you have a favorite actor growing up, a favorite performer, someone you might have modeled yourself after? Oh, well, that's a good question. Um, yeah, you know, you know, I was more interested in, like, you know, because I didn't start acting until I was 32 years old. And I thought, you know, oh, you know, you get to pick and choose what you want to do, so I'm going to pick to be, you know, maybe like hero characters, play like, you know, like Clint Eastwood type characters or Charles Bronson type characters. Uh, and then from very day one, uh, from my acting teachers, because I went to David Mamet's conservatory 
in New York, you know, from acting teachers to the acting students to to the time I started auditioning, everybody saw me the exact opposite. They're like, no, you're the villain, you're the antagonist. I'm like, I can do that, too. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Hollywood Funk Morning Show. New movie coming out, Going to America. That's going to be August 28th in select theaters. Dave Vescio on the phone line right now. Who plays a pimp in the movie? And I wanted to touch on that again, Dave. Dave, is it something that comes natural to you, being a bad guy? I don't know. You know, a lot of people don't want to be typecast. A lot of people don't want to be niched in. But I'm like... I, you know, I have no qualms being niched in as a villain. I mean, you get your range as an actor is like up and down the scale. Uh, versus, I think, you know, when I tried to audition for like the hero r r roles, you know, they tend to be more moral type people. Like nowadays, you know, we're trying to break away from that storyline. But for the most part, they tend to have very specific morals that they can't cross and. As a villain, you don't have those. So. Absolutely. It gives you a little more room to work with, I'm sure. And and, and it's this Total. I do Total. I do want to go back to Rocco the Pimp. Now, like like we said, I'm sure there's a few dimensions to this guy. Is, is there any part in the movie where you do actually have some empathy for Rocco at one point, or is it just gonna be some sort of brutal showing every time we see on screen? <laughs> That's a good question. Um I I don't really want to give too much away, but uh, you know, I basically I just want something from him, and what do all pimps want from their, you know, from their jaunts? You know, I'm they just want money. Ask. You know, so if you pay me money, I'll be happy. If you don't pay me money, then I'm not going to be happy. Dave, this is a segment during the interview that I enjoy doing. It's called the Hollywood Funk Celebrity Spotlight. I ask you some pertinent questions. You give me the first answer that comes to mind. Kind of like being in a therapist's office. Are you willing to play, sir? Sure, let's go. It's time for another star-studded edition of Hollywood Funk Morning Show Celebrity Spotlight. All right, we'll start with easy ones. Coffee or tea? Neither. I, I, I get asked that all the time. Neither. I'm a Coke Zero person. <laughs> Coke Zero. Very delicious. It's even better than Diet Coke. I, I can't agree uh, with you more. That's kind of a, a morning oh, show totally. secret. Uh, plus, it's nice and cool. Favorite TV or movie villain? Uh, my favorite movie villain is Ted Levine in Silence of the Lambs when he plays Buffalo Bill because... I don't care who watches that, they're going to be scared shitless of this guy. So. <laughs> well, played. have you ever had the chance to meet him in person? I haven't, but I want to so badly. We're I gonna... do. I think, he's, I, think, I think he lives on New York side, So, but no, I would love to meet him. And this, one, this one's more of a science, because I know you have a background. I know you taught for a little while, so we're going to do a little education here. I want to see how well you know this. How fast is the speed of light? And you can either give me in miles per second or miles per hour, Dave. I think it's 186,000 miles per second, if I remember right. You are correct, sir. Well played. Or 670 million, roughly, miles per hour. You favorite thing you do? Favorite thing to do when you're not working, Dave? Um, you know, I love climbing mountains uh, without gear. Uh, I love tracking wild game without a weapon, and I definitely. I definitely love bodyboarding uh, steep, short break waves anytime I can get the chance. So, so we might see you I'm out a little, on the beach. I'm a little extreme, you know, extreme sports type person. More so. into pimping the waves in real life, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's Definitely. a good one. Good guy or bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, always the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you like being the heel, in other words. And, you know, as my parents always say, ever since I was born, I've been antagonizing people, so... <laughs> By the way, I was hoping for a more diplomatic answer, but I admire your honesty, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and, and finally, Dave, what makes a good villain? Honestly, as someone who comes across like he's not a villain until it's time to be a villain, because that's how we are in real life. Uh, I don't know if your listeners know or if you know, but I used to be a real-life villain myself, so um, it's a con game, uh, so... That's what makes a great villain. And it's obviously this is something that's going to show through in your role as Rocco and going to America. So I'm I, I'm assuming we might see a little bit of you in that role. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. So even though it's going to be a comedy, and I have to act across these great, you know, giant comedians, you know. So yeah. 
Definitely hard. Well, we are looking forward to it. And going to America, going to America, the new movie opening in select theaters, uh, AMC theaters, August 28th. Of course, Eddie Griffin, Josh Myers, and of course, Dave Vesia. And, and tickets and info online, uh, America, going to America movie.com. Dave, thank you so much for being on the show, good sir. And we hope to have you back on the show soon. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Anytime. Thanks again.